Hi guys, let's hear first question. Here a shopkeeper offering two different discount schemes. First one is buy three get four free and the next scheme is buy five get six free. We need to say which scheme has the maximum discount percentage. We can simply say by a formula and I'll say procedure also. Let's see your formulas first. So discount percentage is nothing but number of free articles given by total number of articles given into 100. That's it. Let's see first scheme, A scheme. How many articles they have given free? 4. 4 by total number of articles, 3 plus 4, 7. 7 into 100. That's all. We know that 1 by 7 into 100 is nothing but 14.28 percentage, right? Now they are asking 4 by 7. So simply 4 times 14.28 percentage. 428 is how much? 80 plus 32. So 112, 1, 2, 1 carry forward. And 14 fours are how much? 40 plus 16, 56. 56. So first scheme is offering 57.12 percentage discount. Let's see next scheme. How many free articles they are giving? 6. So 6 by total how many articles? 5 plus 6, 11. 11 into 100. And we also know that 1 by 11 into 100 is nothing but 9.09 percentage, right? Now we want 6 by 11. Simply 6 times 9.09 percentage, which is 54.54 percentage. So we can simply say that scheme A is giving a maximum discount. So let's say option 2 is correct. Now let's see some procedure. Okay. We all know that discount is nothing but marked price minus selling price only. And we also know that discount percentage is calculated on marked price rate. So discount percentage is nothing but marked price minus selling price by marked price into 100, right? Now let's say uh, these articles are all pens, okay? And marked price of one pen is 100 rupees. Let's say 100 rupees. That means one pen marked 100 rupees. Now let's say, let me scroll down a bit. Let's say there are seven pens. If one pen is 100 rupees, how much 7 pence mark price costs? 700 rupees only, right? Let's say this is market price. Well, this is market price. A customer came to me and I sold this 700 worth of pence to 300 and worth of pence, 300 rupees worth of pence. And generally, this is 3 pence only, right? 3 pence only, right? Means I sold. 700 rupees worth of pens as 300 rupees. This is selling price. This is market price. And discount is nothing but market price minus selling price 700 rupees minus 300 rupees, which is nothing but 400 rupees, right? Now, discount percentage is discount by market price into 100. How much I got discount? I got 700 and worth of pence, which generally equals 7 pence. I got for 300 rupees, which is for generally it co cost for just 3 pence. Okay. Discount is how much? 400. Market price is 700 into 100. So we got 4 by 7 into 100, which is similar to first scheme that is 57.12 percentage. So, but in examinations, uh, you try to remember this formula, okay? This discount percentage is number of free articles given by total number of articles into 100, okay? Let's see our next question. See here, they have given two runners, Sony Moni, they started running on a circular track. Uh, which is of length 200 meters, okay, with speeds 18 and 24. 
uh, in the same direction and after how much time from the start will they meet again at the starting point. Uh, same this is also we can do this question in two ways one is uh, relative relative speed concept relative speed concept and uh, another one as LCM concept ok. Let us see first relative speed concept and you all know let me say first uh, what is the relative speed when two objects running in same direction the relative speed is taken as negative when two objects are traveling in opposite direction the relative speed is taken as positive ok. Now, by applying the same principle here there is a circular track ok there is a circular track and which is 200 meters ok this is complete track and there are two people traveling 18 kilometer per hour and 24 kilometer per hour in same direction. So, we all know that speed is equals to distance by time we need to say time. So, time is equals to distance by here relative speed ok. Now, time is equals to what is the distance they have to travel 200 meters and what is relative speed here they are travelling in same direction. So, relative speed is taken as negative here. So, 18 minus 24 how much 6 kilometer per hour. So, I need to change this in meter per second. So, 6 into 5 by 18. So, how much is comes 1600 into 18 by 6 times 5 6 3 is a 5 40 40 into 3 120 second. So, after 120 seconds they meet again at the starting point. Now, let us see another procedure ok LCM concept let us take this ok. Uh, what is the speed they are given? Speed 1 they have given as 18 kilometer per hour and speed 2 they are given as 24 kilometer per hour. Now, let us convert this 18 kilometer per hour into meter per second. So, 18 into 5 by 18 which is 5 meter per second and second speed 24 into 5 by 18 6 threes. 6 4 which is nothing but 20 meter per second. Now, we can calculate individual time taken by each person to complete a single loop that means 200 meters. So, time is equals to they have to travel 200 meters with speed how much 5 meter per second which is 40 seconds. So, a person took 40 second first person to travel the 200 meters track race. Now, let us see second person how much is distance 200 speed is 20 sorry 20 by 3 20 by 3 which is nothing but 20, 200 into 3 by 20 which is 30 seconds. So, individually they had taken 40 seconds and 30 seconds respectively to complete a race track of 200 meters. Now, we have to find the when, when they will start uh, meet at the starting point which is simply we have to find the LCM of 40 and 30. So, LCM of 40 and 30 is nothing but 120 seconds ok. Let us see your next question. See guys this question might look simple, but in examinations we can there is a possibility that we can do a mistake. See what they have given here. A is 95 percentage of B. So, we can write it as A is equals to 95 by 100 into B right. So, A by B is equals to 95 by 100 which means A is 95 parts and B is 100 parts and we also know that whatever comes after of will take it as denominator right. So, how much A is 95 they asked us to find how much is B right 100 they asked us to find percentage this is B value 
this is a value now how much 519s 95 520s which is nothing but 2000 by 19 percentage now see the options are in mixed fraction so let me tell you a unit digit trick here see our numerator unit digit is 0 so remember that so let's check the options here only take unit digit okay 9 4 how much unit digit you will get as a 6 36 right unit digit is 6 and if you add this unit digit 7 you will get some unit digit as 3 but we we want unit digit 0 so this is not our option and let's see here 900 0, 0 unit digit and if you add 3 as unit digit you are getting 3 but uh, we want 0 this is also not our option and this is unit digit 9872 you will take 2 as unit digit and if you add this unit digit 7 you are getting 9 as unit digit and this is also not our option and remaining left this is our answer or else you can check it 95 is 45 unit digit 5 and if you add this numeric 5 you are getting a unit digit 0 or else this can cancel sim small fraction only see 19 once 19 you are left with 1 and 10 so 19 0 0 and we will carry 0 100 19 5 is 95 and is left with 5 and 19 so simply 105 5 by 19 percentage ok let's see our next question see this time and work question they have given A can do a piece of work in 25 days and B can do a work in 30 days first let's first let us note down this A and B A took 25 days and B took 30 days to complete the same work this is time so what is the time ratio here 5 5 5 6 and what is this efficiency ratio we get 6 to 5 only right uh, we know that time is inversely proportional to efficiency right now let's see the next part of the question they work on alternative basis starting with a a starting and both a and b follow this pattern for five days only and a leaves the work and how many days will be the remaining work see on the first day a will start the work right so first day a completed six units of work plus second day b completed five units of work this is second day and third day a with six units of work and fourth day b with five units of work on the fifth day a does the six units of work and and he will leave this is the fifth day and the next of the work should be done by b only so how much is the work done by five days with this alternative basis six one six two six threes so eighteen plus five twos ten so total twenty eight units of work is completed on this five days now what is the total work either six into twenty five or five into thirty because work is nothing but efficiency into time only right so either 6 into 25 or 5 into the both both are answer same so total work is 150 units 5 3 is 150 right so remaining work how much 150 minus 28 50 minus 20 is 22 so 122 units work is left which should be done by b with efficiency 5 so time is equals to so from here time is equals to work by efficiency right so how much work is left 122 units of work how much with efficiency how much 5 so mixed fraction 5 twos 10 and 22 5 fours are 20 and you left with 2 2 by 5 24 2 by 5 days will be required for b to complete the remaining 120 units of work okay let's see your next question see this question here they said the marked price of a mustard oil is 25 percent is more than the cost price 
and they asked us to find what percentage less the market price should be there should be no profit and no loss this problem can also be done in two ways one is by formula another is by procedure i'll say both both the ways okay now first see the formula okay effective change is equals to plus r minus a plus r minus b plus r minus a into b by 100 so here what is the effective change here there should be no profit and no loss so effective change is nothing but zero and let's take 25 percent is more so a let's take plus 25 and they said at what percentage less so the b is taken as let's say minus x so if you substitute these values in here effective change is 0 0 a is plus 25 and b is minus x so minus 25 x by 100 25 force now 25 is equals to if you take x as common 1 plus 1 by 4 which is nothing but 25 is equals to x into 5 by 4 5 5 is x is equals to 20 so they have they, we should give discount as 20 percent so that cost price and selling price will be same and then we will get no profit and no loss now let's see the procedure okay let's take cost price as 100 rupees okay they said 25 percent is more than the cost price so 25 percent is more than the cost price means the mark price is 125 right now they said there should be no profit and no loss so that means how much we have to sell so that there will be no profit no loss means we have to sell the same price as cost price so selling price is nothing but 100 rupees now how much decrease one we have to find means that is nothing but how much discount before question we learned right discount percentage is equals to ma price minus selling price by marked price in 200 only so how much we got here marked price 125 selling price is 100 marked price is 125 into 100 so 25 by 125 into 100 25 fives 5 20s so discount percentage is 20 percentage which is the same question let's see your next question see this question here we need to find a number which divides this expression okay when we observe this expression we know that uh, there is a common multiple which is 6 power of 25 so 6 power of 25 common if you take 1 plus here we will get 6 and we will get here 6 square and we will get here 6 cube so we need to add all these numbers here the small numbers we can either by add manually or you can use the formula for geometric geometric mean sum that is a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 okay 6 power of 25 into 1 plus 6 plus 6 square is 36 and 6 cube is 216 now 6 power of 25 into if you add unit digit 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 1 18 plus 1 19 1 carry forward and we will get 2 digits now 1 4 4 plus 1 5 and 3 digits 2 only 2 so 249 can divide this expression so our answer is 259 let us see this formula also for adding this series see what is the a means first term here here first term is a and r is the common ratio means the second term by first term that is 6 by 1 r is 6 and n is the number of terms here how many terms 1 2 3 4 n is 4 so if you apply in this formula a is 1 r means 6 n is 4 6 power 4 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 how much is the value of 6 power 4 6 power 4 we know that 6 power 4 is 6 square into 6 square right 6 square is 36 and 6 square is 36 we know 36 square right 1296 so 
ट्वेलव नाइन्टी सिक्स माइनस वन बाय सिक्स माइनस वन फाइव सो ट्वेलव नाइन्टी फाइव बाय फाइव सो सेम फाइव टू टेन एंड फाइव फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड फाइव नाइन फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी नाइन सेम सो टू फिफ्टी नाइन इज आंसर विच कैन डिवाइज दिस एक्सप्रेशन लेट योर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो दैट्स ऑल गाइज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ट इन रीजनिंग रीजनिंग सेक्शन ऑफ द सेम शिफ्ट सो यू कैन ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन एंड कॉमेंट योर आंसर so that's all for the quant section guys those are the questions i thought need an explanation so remaining questions are all okay so i'll do the reasoning section also so until then bye bye take care love you guys